It's like having a dog. Jack, this wasn't me. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the third time you've said that. But you're the only other one here, so who else would it have been? Oh, I don't know about that. And you know, I do let you live here rent free. I don't want to have a go, but you, you owe me about- I know, I know. I'm just saying, and I know you'll get it to me, but it's been like two months since you lost your job. Have you even been looking for another one? What did you do today? Well, I, I checked the newspaper, looking for jobs, and then, then I did a seppuku. A seppuku? Yeah, you know, uh, the, the little puzzles in the newspapers. That's a sudoku. What did I say? Seppuku. Which is a form of Japanese ritual suicide. Oh. The samurai do it. Right. They do it to die with honour, rather than falling into the hands of their enemies. You did a puzzle. Well, it was a hard puzzle. Feel free to help, by the way. I think I know what did this, but I'm gonna sound mental. I think it's a ghost. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, that is mental. It's not what you think. I just missed the shelf. So... We're on a hill. Okay. <clears throat> Strong, aren't you? Okay, yeah, that's weird. Ghost, lovely ghost, ghost in the house. Yeah, I admit it. I'm, I'm freaked out a little bit now. It's exactly what I need some supernatural behaviour after a long day of admin. I think that in situations like this, there's only one thing to do. We need to talk to a professional. I mean, I was going to burn down the house and claim on the insurance, but let's give yours a go. This room has become cold. I can hear a frail voice, but I can't make out the words. Sounds angry. Fuck you! Billy! <sighs> what is this? Your son is possessed. Oh. Don't film your brother when he's like this. This demon is strong. I'm afraid it's going to cost extra. I'll pay it! Good job, kid. I always wanted to do it. I also wanted 20 pounds. Why do you do this? Because it's a job that your family is stupid enough to pay for. Cool. So pay up. I just did. Yeah. But you got paid extra for what I done. I could go back inside and tell my dad on you. Okay. Let me see if I get this straight. Your plan is to go inside and tell mummy and daddy that you swore in front of them and you weren't possessed. Good luck with that. Damn it. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, I'm not sure if we've got the right number, but I was wondering... Are you having a problem with the supernatural? Um, are we? Yes, we are, yeah. You've got the right number. Meet me tomorrow at midday. By the way, my name is Lucy. Okay, okay where would you like to... Hello? Yeah, I'm not a mind reader. Where do you want us to meet you? Dean, uh, do, do you want to just come to our house? No, we... no, we need to meet first. Why? Because I need to check you're not crazy. Oh, I believe in ghosts, come to my house. No. Fair enough. What did the text say? It said me by the canal. Are you Lucy? What? I'm a man. Well, you never know these days, mate. Yeah, it's 2015. It's pretty lucky we found you, actually. Um, we Googled, help us get rid of a ghost, please. And they brought us to you. You put please into Google. Yeah, well, we're polite like that, so. Yeah, I mean, have you ever thought about, like, changing the branding, giving it a different name? Or a, a name, like Spirit Stopper. Lucy, the Spirit Stopper. Just a shit way of saying Ghostbuster, which isn't what I do. Uh, OK, so how does this sort of thing usually work? Well, I will come and examine the area. I assume you two live together. 
uh, yeah, we live together, but we're not together. I'm single, so. Sure. I'll identify the supernatural source, if there is one, and we'll go from there. See what happens, no pressure, nice. Did you, uh, did you say supernatural source? Yeah. I like it, sounds tasty. You two don't see a lot of other people, do you? You're right, drinking enough water. Yeah, I'm drinking water. I stay hydrated. I've never drunk this. I've never drunk this. He doesn't down all day. Because he did that stop. She isn't who she says she is. Are you talking to me? Yes. My name is Detective Stoker. I need your help. Don't follow me. Yeah, but I need to get this tube. Get the next one. It's in like 10 minutes. Fine, get on. That's where you're off to. I'm not telling you. Fair enough. Right, so everything in this room was knocked over. Everything except this vase. So it's in the vase. <clears throat> Give it a rub. It's not a genie. How do you know? You do bicker like an old married couple. Hey, I told you before, we're not a couple. I'm single, so... Why do you keep saying that? Because it's better than saying I'm alone. Which I've said now, in front of her. Where did you buy this? I didn't buy it, it was here when I moved in. I've, uh, I thought of another name. Demon Destroyer. No. Because I'm just thinking, surely you need a name, a logo, a hotline. You know, if you're a uh, legitimate business. Which you are, obviously. Polter Heist. That, that's a good name, isn't it? That is a good name. Never like that vase. Ruins the feng shui of the whole room. The state agent said I can't move it though. Didn't think he meant I literally can't move it, but you know, that makes sense now. Spirits sometimes inhabit inanimate objects like this. The change in mass is actually pretty common. A door, a vase, a music box. It helps them blend in with the ordinary. What we're dealing with here isn't an easy fix. It's gonna cost you a bit more than expected, but we can discuss that when it's Dealt with. Listen to the crap she's coming out with. I need to go and get my stuff. I'll be back in a minute. What do you think of Lucy? I think she's great. I might ask her out after this. I mean, hold off on the wedding bells though, because one, I don't think she likes you, and two, she's a con artist. What? I just don't think you've got any natural chemistry. No, no, no. How do you know that she's a con artist? Right, okay. After the first time we met Lucy, a detective told me that Lucy wasn't who she said she was. And now she's inside of our house performing some sort of fake exorcism on a to-be-confirmed real ghost that's inside of a vase that I think she's trying to steal? I don't know. But I'm wearing a wire and now the detective can hear every single word that we're saying. You've gone to some lengths this time, Dean. that if I start hanging out with Lucy, then we're not going to spend as much time together. I worry about a lot of things. The environment. So, this detective is listening to everything that we're saying right now. Yeah. Listen to this, there, mystery man. You're a dickhead. 
can't do that, Jack. You can't call a policeman a dickhead. That's against the law, and now I'm an accomplice. Thanks a lot, Jack. You need a confession, right? Why don't we just go... Lucy, what happened? Um, I think a chandelier fell on me, but I can't be sure. I tell you, it's that vase. Trying to kill people now. That's a step up. Are you mental? <laughs> what are these for? Were you going to chisel the ghost out of the vase? My leg is still trapped underneath a chandelier. Okay, yeah, I'm calling them, but I'd like to know what's going on, please. I'm a fraud. Shit. I take advantage of stupid people who believe in the supernatural. No offence. What did I tell you? She's a con artist. Did you get all that? Are you wearing a wire? What is this? An early 2000s cop show? That wasn't me. You are such a prick. That chandelier is coming right out of the closet. Can you do anything else other than make a bit of a mess? I'll be hype, man, Jack. What the fuck is going on? Are you just bored? Is that what the afterlife is? Is that all I've got to look forward to? Oh, shit! A bit much, sorry. So there is something in the vase. What? Just leave. What are you getting out of this? There's the door. You proved to know how to open and close it. Oh, do Better. At the end of a long day, all they want to do is come home to a calm and empty house. What about me? You can stay, but just get a job. And you, Lucy. I like you, but just don't lie to people. I mean, I didn't know ghosts were real until just now. What are you playing? Stop throwing shit at me, it doesn't even hurt. Okay, yeah, that one hurt quite a bit, but the point still stands. And I'll tell you something. When I didn't believe in ghosts, I imagined them to be scarier than you. And by the way, this vase is bloody ugly. Oh shit. It commits a puku. Is your name even Lucy? Yeah. Didn't think that far ahead. Yeah, you're not very good at this. No. Sorry about the trying to rob you thing. Don't say it too loudly, because you know, you got the... Well, I mean the paramedics, not I'm just saying, it's the same lights, same number. Change the tone when I walk over, jeez. No handcuffs then. I don't know when it happened, but it's broken. So yeah, you get off scot-free. By the way, 
Love that last line. Jack does his big old speech and then you swoop in and take all the glory. Boom. Love it. Now, oh, just got some encouragement from the hype man. Well, what can I say? You're taking the piss. All right, fine. Stop twisting my arm. We're in. We'll join the team. What? Are you sure? What about... Don't worry about logistics. Admin. We'll figure that out. Yeah. And once we join forces, I have three conditions. I want a name, I want a logo, and I want a hotline. Quite nice here, isn't it? I might sleep here tonight. But you're never sleeping here. Why not? Under the desk, join me. No! Hey, check out the new t-shirts. Lucy, do you not think it looks like we're working for a chicken place? I think it'll be fine. Oh. 